have Riley Crow. Riley Crow has a history of being very aggressive. She is a leader in the ring, and there are very few female athletes that will compare to her size to her strength. And no for her striking ability. and ability she has. So if you look at her, she is not a very fit person at all. No, she, she is not. She knows exactly what she needs to do to win, and will do that at any cost possible. At the same time, we can say the same thing about her opponent, Sammy Pandora. Very true. Sammy Pandora is a fighter. There's no other way to put it. She is a fighter. <laughs> Sammy Pandora has a WWE legend under her belt as well, and that's Mickey James. Oh, competitors that you cannot sleep on. Mickey James is one of the best female wrestlers to ever step in this business. It's Sammy stood toe to toe with her. That she is, that she is. Proud, big Sammy Pandora fan. professionals in the ring right now. I am a big fan of wrestling. And this now, is exactly what we're going to see. Now, you've been in the business longer than I have. You've seen many different matchups. We've got a striker in Riley Crow and a technician specialist in Sammy Pandora. How do these styles kind of coincide? Who, who do you see in your experience having the advantage coming into this fight? It really depends on who gets first fight. A technician like Sammy, she's going to want her opponent close to her so she can grab her. She can wrap her up. She can do what she needs. But if Riley Crow hits that first solid strike, Sammy's going to be taken off her game. So this is really who's going to get there first, is going to have the top advantage in this situation. Oh, those competitors circling their opponents. Big kick. There's a striking ability of Crow that we talked about. Big shot. I heard that one all the way from my here at the table. She's gonna eat those shots like it's her dinner and keep going in for more. Irish whip, Sammy. If Sammy had a superpower, her superpower would be survival. She's been in there with the toughest there are, and she is still going. She is a survivor, so no matter what you throw at her, she I guess a power like that, you fighting spirit. There's a nice takedown from Sammy Pandora, who's feeling it now. Big clothesline. Not down. That one stomp. Looks like, looks like she might have injured her arm at some point. I missed. Something from Crow. Carlos strikes in the corner at the start of the match. He starts to attack. Mark, I see the Pandora. Very important in the technician style. Mm -hmm. I don't think Riley fully grasped what she was in for. I don't think so either. And you can see that. You can see that by the way she just scrambled out of the ring as soon as Sammy sent her back in. Not prepared for this match at all. And Sammy's got her by the hair. Pulling her in. Oh, and throw breaking her across the top rope. See, I think Riley is noticing one of the best quotes I've ever seen from Mike Tyson is everybody has a plan. Oh, yeah, Sammy. Oh, yeah. Sammy Pandora creating some space, allowing herself some time to regain some of her composure. She just kicked right in the head. Hey, throw, what? Oh, the kid, the guy, 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 the gu
do some I solid shots time. by Riley too. That, that, Sammy is feeling it. Let me tell you, those shots to the kidneys, to the ribs, that's gonna, that's her core. That's gonna be everything. Like when you're a technician, you need your core, you need the bread, you need the throw. It all comes through there. And Riley is slowly wearing that. Right, we got a couple shoulder tackles right here in the corner. So all that striking ability you were talking about. Sammy's gonna feel these, these punches not only for today, but for probably the next couple days. As Sammy's just trying to create some distance. Look at Sammy, if she's breathing, she's fighting. And she's proving that right now. Uh, I wasn't sure what she was going for, but Sammy reversed it to a small package, only good enough to get the two, but that created some space. And has a big head kick knocking Sammy down. That could have done it. Sammy looks out. And look how smart Riley is. She's rushing that cover. She's not letting any opportunity go that she Are has. you serious? She's slowly starting to realize that fighting spirit okay. that Sammy Pandora has. And we talked about it. You touched on it a lot. The whole, as long as she's got a single breath in her body, she's going to continue to fight no matter what. Nice choke with the bridge. Okay, lady? Center of the ring. I'll tell you, Riley is very quickly making me a very big fan of her style. Sammy, you can see that fighting spirit, able to get a shot in, right to the gut, able to break free. That's going to create that distance, that's all she needs right now. And it doesn't matter where she's lined up as long as she's striking. Crow setting up for a kick that's caught. Spinning her around big. Her shot, I think that was to the throat. One of Sammy's last breaths, and what did she do? She took her head off. That now it's time did. for Sammy to gain her composure, get off and try to take control of the Crowd getting behind Sammy. Slow to her feet, those are those strikes that are, you can see they have, they have that effect on her. Knocking her out. Big clothesline though, Sammy finally able to regain her composure and come back. Another clothesline now. And Riley is known for her striking ability. Big spinning soul kick to the gut. Sammy is back in it. She is, she is giving it to her. Running and body splash. Same on, rather cover. Two, no. Is Sammy just as smart as Riley? She rushed that cover, she wasted no time. I think both competitors realize the danger that they've gotten themselves into by taking this match on. Not that Sammy's one to underestimate her opponent, but I don't think she was fully prepared for the power of the strikes coming from Riley Crow. Huge effect on Riley. Big flat liner. Cover, hook of the leg. Two, three, it's over. There we go. There was that last breath. As I told you, she is a survivor. Looks like Riley is really feeling the impact of this yeah, match at the like. moment. Yeah, looks like he's got some officials coming into the tent to Riley Crow. So they can enjoy that fighting spirit here and everything with us. Claim the victory. Riley's got to be prepared as when you're as strong you can, and tough as Riley, you see, expected to come back to you. You see Sammy holding her, her gut, her arm. You can just see that those strikes really took it, it did a number on her. Big match in So here we go. Now. This contest is a five-man qualifier elimination match. It will determine a future opportunist for the Work Great Entertainment Heavyweight Championship. A lot on the line on this. To be the first ever Work Great Heavyweight Champion, that's a big deal. That it is. I mean, you think about it. Whoever wins this match is going to look upon today and say that this is the moment that solidified themselves as a world champion contender. Everybody, we heard the commentator talk about five, five participants involved in this qualifier. Okay, 
Miller made his way into the ring and looking to stake his claim to a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity here tonight in Scott Run, Pennsylvania. Introducing entrant number two, Mike Law! Mike Law. Hey, I've seen Mike Law around for a very long time. He's a very good competitor. Very strong for his stature as well. That is not, I'll take your word on it, but when I saw the name. Ricks. I was gonna say, this is not Mike Law. When I saw the name Mike Law, this is not what I envisioned. When I saw the name Tricks, I don't know if I quite imagined this myself. I, was, I think I was imagining more of like the bunny that you see on the cereal box. Yep. I guess. Granted, the opponent was about the size of yourself, no, but still. Yeah. I don't think this is the place you want to hide. I'm not. I'm not the kind to be a bodyguard. Well, we got scared here. By this table, I am more than happy to take my headset down and let them fight. I will be out of the area of fire. I don't know if we can go that far. Tommy Vex. Last time I saw this man too, he refused to take his blazer off. Nobody asked you. Yeah, nobody asked you. This music, I think it only needed one person. It only needed one person. I think it might be getting a little funky in here right now. I think so. I'm going to agree. That's right here, we've got Funky White Boy. Boy, I tell you, my first thought of him, I'm looking at his Grandmaster Sunset. I think we're pretty close. Pretty close. Like some of the fans are taking some souvenirs home from Funky White Boy. Dancing his way around the ring, and the fans are loving him. Gotta love a wrestler who loves being in the ring, not just to wrestle, but being who they are. And this man brings the excitement to the show. I'm not very familiar with Funky White Boy, but it does look like he's having the time of his life right now. I 
love to do more math for you, but unfortunately, I am not Scott Steiner, and I'm going to keep it at the 25 I was just about to say, I'm very glad that you did not go to the Scott Steiner, Steiner School of Math. No. Nothing! So looks like not the, even a thing. all for, four competitors are working the crowd, seeing who's uh, more of the fan favorite right now. And here is Better late than never. I am not doing any more math, just know these chances are not as bad. Mike Wall calls himself colossal. I've got to take a moment to play. Tommy Dex is actually taking his blazer off and I'm stunned. I've actually had the privilege of being in the ring with Mike Wall, and he is a very strong competitor, although his cockiness at times gets the best of him. And it looks like that cockiness just got him eliminated from this matchup. Here we go. Last one in, first one out. Matchup on your way. Funky white boy cleaning house. Lost, Big. taking advantage on the way out. Big. Back body drop and funky white boy. Cleaning house on the ring. Off the truck. Here comes Trips now. Looks like he was going for something. Finally able to throw funky white boy out of the ring. Ran on his I don't know. Roll. And as soon as I say that, Funky White Boy gets eliminated. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Tommy Vex, definitely an opp opportunity. Yeah. 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 And that in a match like this. And now we're down to the final three. Hey, they're, they're pulling through these competitors like they're nothing. I'd I love just, to see who's a standout. Yeah. 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 So it looks like we have a bit of an alliance going on, but. Looks like we're set for something up here. Attack in the corner. The European uppercuts are going to be able to do this. Throwing some elbows on the side of the head. Coming in with a lot of steam on each one. Thanks. Cobbling out of the corner. There's Shane Miller thrown right into it. You notice how Trish whipped him off. He easily got out of the way, unsure uh -oh. of where Tommy Vex was at the moment. Be like, oh, Shane Miller's gonna feel that one later. Hope he wasn't looking to have kids. Oh, yes, he is. Don't look at this man's a mouthwash. Big duplex from Trix. But now, in a qualifying match for a championship, that is how we show you. I would be one to agree, but one also has to wonder what Trix basically going after both men. If this doesn't almost make an unwritten alliance between Miller and Vex to go after Trix up until it's time to get him out of here and all, every man for himself. As you see, Trix Contact with him, both men. He got a little up on Tommy Beck, kept his focus there, gave Shane Miller the opportunity to recover. And that Shane Miller took full advantage of that quick press that he got. That he did. Who's that gonna make you stop? You need to Taking a little too much time to draw Jack with the fans allowing Tricks to come back. Shots to the head and Tommy Vex coming right in from behind. And this is what I was talking about. It's the uh, almost unspoken alliance. But you gotta realize this is an elimination Especially when, you, when both Vex and Miller remember this for a long time opportunity thanks to Vex and Miller. Shay Miller puts a lot of focus on the crowd. That he does. Yeah. Focus and energy elsewhere make him much more of a machine than he already is. Especially He's knocking on the door of a world championship opportunity right now. There's no telling. Like, this is 
a dog eat dog see, you kind of business. So who knows? He might not see another world championship opportunity after tonight. Breaking the eyes with his boot. Gotta be careful, they don't get too cocky because Trixie's a smart competitor. And he showed that. Right Plus, this is a five way referee, really just has to let it happen. No disqualifications in a match like this, anything can't go. I mean, knowing what I know about Tommy Vex, I'm not very good. From what I've seen tonight, I think I'm going to see any sportsmanship towards anybody in the ring, including the wrestling. Right after the shoulder of Tommy Vex, Miller's unaware and very remembers. Smart. Very smart by Miller to let him get taken out. Because now the only man in there is the injured Vex. And coming right in with a big almost shot kind of like boot to the head. Might have lost a tooth. Cover only got a two though. Get on them, don't argue. Once again, right back to that jaw dragging with the crowd. It's, I'm not a competitor. So, oh, dropping right across. That's not only going to affect his kick, but his kick out as well. Won't be able to get as much force out of that, right? Yeah. And obviously, Shane Miller does have a slight weight advantage on him. He's going to put that weight across his chest and shoulders. I have, to, I have to ask the question. Before that cover, he took a nice, like, two, three seconds to talk with the crowd once again. That more than likely allowed him to fix that kick. That two seconds that could have ended this matchup. That he needs to tell people how good he is as opposed to letting his work rate show for it. If he would have rushed that cover, no doubt in my mind, Shane Miller would have been moving into the championship match right now. Miller, oh, gets caught with a big boot. Tricks trying to come back. There's a nice little elbow to the, to the head. Setting up. Oh. Another shot to the rim. Looked like he was going for a single leg takedown of some kind. And Miller just had that one scouted too well and cut the knee up. He's going. Oh, he's got the fingers. Oh, no. Oh! You know, as people know that is, he's been working this whole section this whole match. He's moving his foot around. Good, so if he starts moving around the body, he takes away the ribs, and then he starts taking away the hands and the arms. Miller starts changing it up like instead of going for the ribs all the time, working the fingers, working the hand, working the leg. It's going to throw tricks off his game so he doesn't know what moves coming his way at some point, so it's going to make it harder on him to reverse. No idea how to protect himself. Big clothesline by Miller taking tricks down. Right in for the cover. Two, three, go. Two and a half. But he took that couple seconds to talk with the crowd. Wouldn't be surprised if it crossed him as it does. Trix rolls right out of the way of the moonsault. Beautiful moonsault. Trix is calling for it right now. Nice little shot to the gut. Coming around. Oh! Oh, Miller. Reverse it. Big knee to the face. He's got a call. He knows what he's got to do now. Oh, package. Pile driver spiked him. Cover. One, two, and it's over. Shane Miller picks up the victory and a future consideration for the World Heavyweight Championship here at Work Rate Entertainment. Wonderful fight at the front trip, but 
Shaylin from his mistakes, and he capitalized without taking that moment to spare. Hooking for that pack of pile driver, and that was it. Second he yoked him, we were at a new qualifier. Well, the referee's recognition. He knows what he did in that ring. Backed it up 100%. Takes his bow and exits the ring. <laughs>